Hello guys, welcome to an episode review of EastEnders for Monday 24th of October 2022. It was actually meant to air at half seven, but it got pushed back to eight o'clock. I believe it was because of the politics. Um, so for a second, I thought there might be no EastEnders, but as long as there was one, to be honest, I'm really complaining. We're going to talk about the Panasars today first. Uh, Kirat's obviously had his suspicions all along with Ravi and his dad. His dad obviously hasn't got in touch with anyone. He's been like, um, for weeks, he's been out of touch with everyone, his whole family. Kira found that weird from the start. Uh, and even though we all know Kira's the normal one, and he's obviously the relationship between, between his, him and his mum is strained because his mum's the one with the issues. Um, even then, with him, obviously, keeping sane, keeping normal, and obviously noticing other people's so like his cousin's um, relationship with his father and knowing that that's off and then that and obviously the fact that he's gone away to Mumbai for like so many weeks and without a word with no one hearing from him missing his business meetings to any normal person that would be weird so Kira has picked up on something you know just anyone else will pick up so I think that He's not going to let this drop easily. And when the police obviously came round questioning Ravi, uh, Nina was obviously very crafty. What's Kira? Sorry, uh, Ravi's stepmom that he's obviously seeing or having an affair with. Um, so obviously she only married uh, Ravi's dad uh, purely because of the to inherit the money, and probably they had some other plan before Suki hit him first, and obviously Ravi finished the job. Um, it's very interesting how she works. Very crafty. Has a uh, you know doctor, intelligent. Unfortunately, she's using that intelligence to her own gains and needs. Um, and obviously, she's how she's very calm as well. She's you know I think obviously that's a quality as a doctor. But she's again she's using it for evil. She's telling to you know to Ravi um, keep a cool head. The way she just spoke to Ravi is like made him look like as if he's you know he's he's being kind of like a child about this can't really handle what he started so that is pretty uh um yeah very brave of nina don't know if brave is the right word to use but very daring as well um and obviously kirat's uh, got lily out because lily was complaining she's bored she's obviously had a full fallout with amy and kirat you know he overheard the conversation between ravi and the police and he brought out amy sorry lily uh, to have like a little uh, lunch date with him and Nugget as well. I think, I didn't know this before, I didn't really pick up. Maybe Nugget and Lily like each other, I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it. But it looks like there's a storyline there. And obviously, but they're just playing it cool. Um, and Akira obviously got done for a reason, so he can bring up, bring out Nugget to talk to him without coming without making it too obvious so he got Lily out because obviously Lily's his kind of uh partner's daughter so it makes it more normal if Lily comes as well so that's why he's, ma he's managed to orchestrate that quite quite quickly and quite perfectly as well and obviously she left and so obviously it's probably worked out for Kira because so he can ask questions to Nugget um without like one one-on-one -on -one questions without obviously it being awkward Lily just being there so it's very interesting, actually, uh, the way Kira has done that. And obviously, he's got more information now. He's not going to let this drop. Uh, I can just, you could just tell he's not going to let this drop at all. He's going to be on Ravi's case, going to be on Ravi's back. I can guarantee you that. And obviously, the the, the bombshell of Ravi being his, his stepbrother probably might come out in Christmas. I'm just guessing. That's just how soap works. And obviously, the fact that Ravi killed his dad. Again, it could come out in Christmas. I'm only guessing here. I don't watch the spoilers or nothing. Um, because for me, it just ruins the episodes. So, also, to pick up on Nish and his behaviour with he, Ravi as well. It just shows, obviously, he doesn't treat Ravi as an equal. Like, as an equal son to his other sons or his, his daughter as well. To him, Ravi's just like his scapegoat. That's just what we're seeing. I think it's a bit unfair on Ravi as well. 
but you can tell Nish is up to no good as well. You could just, but it's just great acting. That's that's how literally the the I'm guessing what EastEnders producers and directors they want their characters to come come across, and they li- they literally doing their jobs perfectly well. Um, we're gonna move on to Lola. Quite quite sad and interesting because she had a Caesar. She's collapsed in the bathroom. Uh, for a couple of epi- episodes, like last week and this week, she's been having headaches or, or migraines. Today's episode, she was quite serious. She's collapsed. And I did see some comments on Facebook that she's going to have a terminal illness. And that's from that's me just not trying to look for spoilers or anything. It's just on the EastEnders page. Someone's been commenting. That's the trouble. Obviously, when you go on Facebook or whatever, just look at the comments just as a recap on, like, for example, today's episode or yesterday's episode, there's always someone, an enthusiastic person that's going to obviously report a spoiler. It just For me, that just ruins the the episode. Well, what's the point of watching it if you're going to uh, look at the spoilers? But each of their own. Obviously, some people, they get off on, on the spoilers, uh, so they really enjoy that. But I don't know. I just, I just feel like it saves time for me not to watch the spoilers or, or even keep up with anything. Um, and just watch the episode as they go along because that way you, you, it's, things can be unexpected because right? it's, it's like a, a non-biased um, setting for you as a viewer. You just don't want to know uh, what's what's going to happen without even watching the episode, do you know what I mean? So anyway, um, but I, I feel like EastEnders, they have really wasted Lola's uh, talent uh, so Daniel Harold in real life because she's a terrific actress. The way she just played this uh, today's her like her the when she collapsed, handshaking and you know she's having a Caesar, just terrific acting. So not only is she like really good at acting naturally, but she's good at the physical side of things as well. Like um, and I just feel like they just wasted her character. She was m- meant for much more, given her abilities. Um, unfortunately, she's been overshadowed by the Mitchells, so she never really had her own storylines. And I just think it's quite sad, obviously, the way she's... If she is departing now, and it's just quite sad, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I really can't say anything else on that, because, yeah, let me know what you think on about that as well. And obviously, her and Jay just got back together. That is even more... Makes it even more sad as well. And... You know, she wants, obviously, Ben and Callum to be together. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go for the for the group. Because of Jay, Lola, Ben, Callum. Obviously, they're, they're a little structural unit for Lexi as well. So, obviously, things are going to be very tough for Lexi as well. Especially with uh, with Ben, obviously, being... Had a hard year as well himself. Um, so, if she is to lose a parent. And, obviously, her dad... Having a tough year, I don't know, I just feel Lex is a bright child, she's going to have a tough herself. Yeah, I think that is a recap for today's episode. Let me know what you think.